Coming up on this episode. Does our first student have what it takes to fight in the big leagues? Find out now. Hi, this is Jacob Rogers with the Dropkick Dojo, and I'm going to show you how one kid with a dream became a champion. Welcome to episode two of Stevie's World Robot Domination. We're getting ready for Stevie's first fight and making that ring walk. Now, if you look ahead of us, there's someone you might recognize. Yep, that man is none other than Sam McAmis. And if you're thinking, I know that guy from somewhere, it's because he's the driver and builder of the battle bot, Gruff. Whoa, there's that fire-breathing monster known as Gruff, right in the face of Whiplash. Pretty sick, huh? Stevie got to rub elbows with the BattleBots builder at his very first tournament. Now on to the first fight. How you doing, Dropkick Dojo? I'm Crazed Madman. Robot. This is my robot. Same name. Looking to break out of the asylum and cause some chaos. We have from Rogers Robots, the Flaming Fury. Woo! Woo! And straight from the asylum, we have the Crazed Madman. Yes! Oh, we're turning it on, spin it on, spin it on, and then drive out of there. Okay, do we have a pin? Okay, okay, well, spin, spin it back up. Yeah, spin it back up. Nope. You almost pulled a mallet. What a fight for Stevie's very first. Bends up that wedge and keeps it going. Comes over the top and snipes the corner of that wedge off. He runs into a couple slight issues with this wedge. It is a nice wide wedge that Madman put on there. He's thrown into the corner a little bit on this hit. But to end the round, he goes and gets this huge hit here that splinters pieces all over the arena. You could see it in the slow-mo. Great job, Stevie. Okay, are you ready? so we just got done with that fight. It was a lot of fun. What did you think? George, well, it's my first ready? time in real battle, not in a, uh, a uh, grudge match using an extendo wedge. I say it held up. I want to make Three, it a little bit more sturdy. Two, one, I, don't, I didn't have any metal bits. I wanted to use titanium, but I only had Lexan and sheets of aluminum. But this... This aluminum front, that definitely sent him flying a couple times. I'm proud of that. He did, however, knock off the literal gearbox to the motor, which is essentially what's making this thing run. So you get to keep that as a special prize. Thank you. So yeah, Stevie, so it's a, it's a tradition in robot fighting history that whenever you break something or knock something off the opponent, you get to keep that motor. Especially if it's a good fight. So what did you think? I thought it was a great match. 
uh, there's a few things I could work on, such as my aggression and trying not to pin myself off on my back. One minute. But other One than that, I, I was a good fight. Yep, yep. A lot of fun and some new friends, huh? So yes. hey, That was awesome. Yeah. Scoop. There it is. I know, he may have me out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Come dangerous, just like Stevie and Fury. Join the Dropkick Academy. Look us up online at Rogers Robotics on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you, guys. Join the Dropkick Dojo today. Let's go, buddy. Yeah. So this is uh, Scoop. There it is. So we are my team Battle Quacks. Although my partner's not here, Sprinkles today, but uh, you know we got a nice little uh, smack right here where he slit my frame wide open right here. So he got a nice slice there. Um, I already took the wheel off, but he broke this this motor mount. So this motor is now done. So I got to replace that. So you got a nice good whack on my tire there. Took some nice shreds out of that and uh, chopped up a good bit of the underside of my front armor that I had. I think I looked this in a nice little nick that's fresh. So you got that one too. A little bit on this tire got a couple nicks. Yeah so it's good, what good little up, slice. Uh, ultimately immobilizing the other side? The, well I think the motor once this one locked up because the motor broke and it will not turn anymore it kind of locked it up. And I think that overheated my other side. It was all hot. So even this was hot. So I guess for me trying to make that one move, it overheated and it froze. So, awesome. but yeah, it was, awesome it was, yeah, it was, it was a good fight. I'm also, I also am testing out these motors. So these are N20 motors. They're not the ones normal people run. So these oh, are the smaller motors, yeah. so they're a little smaller, but that allows me to put more power up here for the lifter and stuff. Yeah, but you know, you take yeah. those out, I'm out. So <laughs> yeah. did good to get around there and get those out. So, Stevie, how did you feel during that fight? It felt accomplished that this robot was able to do damage, yet drive super well. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good job. Go ahead. That was really awesome. It was a really good match. Enjoyed going up against you. Thank you. So, really no problem. Nice you. Thank you. As always. Hopefully we can do that again at some point. Absolutely. Hey, I'm Brad, uh, Team Liberal Arts Engineering, and Mike Stone, Team Liberal Arts Engineering. <laughs> <laughs>
throw another on the stick. Stevie, how did you feel about the fight? Uh, very close. Mm -hmm. It was very close. I was a little worried the judges were going to yeah. go the other way, but the beginning uh, was out. definitely yeah. went to uh, chunk in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But when I started spinning the weapon all the way up, mm -hmm. started doing some damage, getting stuck on the wheels. Yeah. So what what happened in that fight with you guys? Uh, we definitely got uh, stuck together a couple times. Uh, you see that there's some damage done to our wheels from the latex getting ripped off. Uh, started out strong, had a lot of like aggression and control, but yeah, once that weapon was up and spinning, it was it was formidable. Yeah. He was, he was doing a good job of gyro walking with that, you know. Yeah, kinda, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I actually walking. didn't realize the drive motor was out. Yeah. Um, he seemed to be moving, like, okay. I thought it was more yeah. drive, like, control issues rather than, like, uh, uh, drive problems. But, yeah. um, you know, I think at the end of the day, like, I agree it was super close. And I think um, the judges like to see those, like, big hits, yeah. lots of sparks. And you get that um, steel weapon on the titanium. You get a lot of cool sparks. Yeah. And, uh, you know, puts on a show and also judges like it. And I think that probably is what sort of tipped it at the end of the day. Yeah. I think it was when he spun that weapon up and he started making, get, like being mm -hmm. a little more aggressive with right. the drive. I think that's what turned, you know, if he, had, if he hadn't have done that, I think they would have gone the other way. But mm -hmm. that was a good adjustment. And good job, bud. And congratulate these guys. They fought hard. Good match. Great match. Great match. So, I'm Russell Williams from Purple Fire Robotics. We're stationed in uh, Lakeland, of course, our university, Florida Polytechnic University. This, I'm with my one pounder, Insomnia. How, what iteration is this? Like the 10th? I've lost count of each little iteration. And what were you ranked last year? I was uh, actually ranked uh, second in the nation, I would say. Yeah. So, the National Robotic Fire, what, uh, Robot Combat League? Uh, yeah. Uh, Robot Combat League. Robot, Robot, Robot Combat Events, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ranking. So, so, not going to be an easy fight. <laughs> So, the battle of my students, <laughs> sort of. Well, I mean, Russ, what, what, what's our history, if you can let them know? I mean, we, we went to Florida Poly together, of course. We were part of the uh, Purple Fire Robotics and then developing a good bit in, in there, of course, yeah. leading that, co captaining and such. Yeah. yeah. And I got him started, but he took it the rest of the way, and he's built an incredible robot. And I'm really proud to be a Florida Poly alumni, partly because of this guy. This is he's excellent. Um, and, and Stevie now, my, my full-time student, um, have got, to, got together and came together in the winner's bracket final. I mean, heck of a run for both teams. Really good for him. Um, so how, what did you think about that fight? I think it, w it really went the distance, especially with how well put together this was, especially for his first robot? Yep, first, first robot ever. That's yeah. crazy. Nice. Re really well put together, especially because that was um, not only put me guaranteed second or f first podium, yeah. but I yeah. think it's called guaranteed like the winner's third. final, yeah. I think for him. The winner exactly. is yeah. Okay, and Stevie, how did you feel about that fight? Could have done some driving differently. I could have uh, drived with 75% speed for after that first hit. Yeah, after the initial hit, yeah. But, uh, and we had some damage. What was the damage on the robot if you want to flip it over and show them? Uh, 
Insomnia dug into the robot yep. and uh, just completely destroyed what connects all of our wires. Yep, and then if you flip it over, he hit the backside right there, and he kind of chipped, turned it to where they could see it, like the other way. And Zippy has entered the field. See how there's the damage and right there? People and he, got, entered he got a good field. hit back there. He also he got, got a good hit here. Yeah, a decent hit up there. It, the frame did hold up pretty good, though. Hold up pretty well. And then Insomnia, was there anything of note? Um, I'm going to guess no. Usual wear and tear, I would say. Yeah. Weapon blade, needs some more love. Yeah. I'm going to swap that next version anyways. But, but, yeah. but yeah. Pretty much untouched. Yeah. Yeah. It's always one touch away from kabonk. Yeah. Drive going out, something like that. What a great showing for Stevie, taking third place in his very first tournament. His whole family was there to support him. And if you'd like to learn how to do this, just like Stevie did, go ahead and contact us in the links below.